brand new season of Locker Room. I'm your host, Justin Lindler. I'm joined by two co-hosts today who I'll let introduce themselves now. I'm Jackson Fields. And I'm Perry Dominici. Thank you guys for joining me today. As a new season of Locker Room kicks off, the NFL also kicked off last night when the Atlanta Falcons traveled to Philadelphia to play the Eagles. Guys, who stood out to you last night? What did you think of the game? Go on. Um, Julio Jones really stood out. Ten catches for 169 yards. Yeah. He was open all night. But uh, once the Falcons got in the red zone, their offense stalled, the play calling was poor, and they couldn't get in the end zone. It did seem like once they it entered that red zone, it just something just went didn't click and something yeah. they really need to improve on in practice. Uh, what about you, Perry? And uh, along with the Philadelphia Eagles red zone defense, I thought Ronald Darby had a great game opposite yeah. Julio Jones. Yeah. Six tackles, one for a loss, three pass breakups, including the last one to seal the game, knocking Julio out of the end zone, mm. secure the win. It was a yeah. big play, and he was all over the field throughout. Well, obviously, the Eagles are the defending Super Bowl champions. Do you think, just based on last night's performance and the offseason, uh, how do you guys think? Do you think these guys will make a deep run in the playoffs? Do you think they might repeat? How do you think these guys will do ultimately in the end? Oh, the NFC is stacked this year. There's three or four teams that can really contend. Um, we'll have to see about Carson Wentz when he comes back from his torn ACL. Uh, they're definitely a contender, but I don't see them going back to the Super Bowl. Okay. I think a lot of it is on Carson Wentz. Last night kind of proved Nick Foles really isn't the guy for them, despite yeah. the Super Bowl run. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ugly stat line. He was tr struggling to find receivers, and along with that, I think Alshon Jeffrey really needs to get back on the field for them. Yeah. Right. So, you guys are rookies to the show, <laughs> and there are also plenty of rookies in the NFL this year. Um, who do you guys think have has the highest ceiling? Like, who's going to do the best this year in terms of just helping team wins, good numbers? Who's really going to be that guy like this year that really right. breaks out? I think somebody that's going to surprise a lot of people is uh, Anthony Miller. The wide receiver out of Memphis that got drafted in the second round by the Bears. A lot of people had him as a first-round talent, and uh, with all the acquisitions the Bears made, Allen Robinson, Taylor Gabriel, and then mm -hmm. new coach Matt Nagy, I think that offense is really going to explode with Mitch Trubisky back there, and uh, uh, he'll be a great addition to that. Yeah. And on defense, uh, Derwin James, I think he was the steal of the draft. Mm -hmm. Slid all the way to 17 to the uh, Los Angeles Chargers. And uh, I think he's going to help them out on defense. He's good in coverage. He's, can, uh, he's a freak athlete, and he's going to help support the run. He's going to help the Chargers. Uh, win the AFC West. Yeah, I really like the combo of uh, Bradley Chubb and Von Miller on the Broncos mm -hmm, defense. I think that's a really good pass rush going in. It's going to be hard to run against the Broncos this yeah. year. Yeah. Um, and obviously, Saquon Barkley, I have high expectations for him. Absolutely. As that's, most, that's the easy answer. Right? Yeah, <laughs> it's just as most people do, um, Eli Manning's kind of reaching that end of his career yeah. run, and yeah. uh, it's got to take a lot of weight off his shoulders, and having Saquon Barkley back there with him, I think we'll do that. Yeah. Um, super, we spoke, we Spoke about the Super Bowl briefly before. Um, who are you guys? It's week one. It's way too early to predict this now. <laughs> way too early. But who do you guys, just based on what you know now and what your gut is telling you, who do you think might make the Super Bowl this year? I really like the Chargers coming out of the AFC. Mm -hmm. In addition to Derwin James, already adds the stack defense. Joey Bosa, Melvin Ingram rushing off the same side is going to be trouble for everybody in the AFC. Oh, definitely. And uh, despite a couple injuries preseason, this is one of their healthier years. They always have bad luck with it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Uh, Keenan Allen staying on the field with Phillip Rivers, and they uh, re-signed Gates with the uh, Hunter Henry injury. So I think there's a lot going for them, and I think the defense is going to take them deep in the playoffs. Yeah. Um, NFC? Mm -hmm. NFC, I like the uh, Rams a lot. Another LA team thinks the LA LA Super Bowl. Oh, okay. cool. uh, a lot of offseason moves for the defense. They got Ndamukong and Sue right next to Aaron Donald now. Yeah. A, a keep to leave on the corner with Marcus Peters as well. And then we saw Goff kind of grow last year along with Gurley, who had an almost MVP year. And then the addition of Brandon Cooks and Ari great offense is really going to help Goff and his. Yeah, definitely. Um, in the AFC, I kind of got the same as you. I think the Chargers, um, Mike Williams, their first round pick from last year, who mm -hmm. was injured a lot right. of last year. I think he's going to have a breakout year. He looked good in the preseason. Phillip Rivers, veteran quarterback. Uh, Melvin Gordon, Keenan Allen, like you said, that defense. Um, they probably got the best pass rush tandem in the league. Yeah. Um, in the NFC, I like New Orleans just because Sean Payton and Drew Brees have been there forever. Right. Defense was uh, very much improved last year. And they're, I mean, they're a miracle play away from going to the NFC Championship. Um, Marshawn Lattimore and Alvin Kamara, the defensive rookie of the year and the offensive rookie of the year coming mm -hmm. back. I think they're going to have a great year once Mark Ingram comes back from his four-game suspension. That offense should be one of the best in the league. Yeah, I, I, um, for me, just Tom Brady's like a fine wine. He just gets better <laughs> yep. with age somehow. He won MVP last year, over 40 years old. It's unheard of. Um, it's so hard for me to bet against Tom Brady. Just as long as he's in the league, I just it's gonna be hard for me to bet against that guy, the Patriots. But I do also like the Chargers. I think they have a really good shot at making a run. NFC, I'm 
I mean, with you, Perry, I like, I like the Rams a lot, mm -hmm. and I do like the Saints, too. But I just, as you said, it's so stacked, it's impossible for me, really, right now to make a pick yeah. out of that yeah. side. NFC is going to be tough this year. So we have really five big games going on this week. Um, we're starting out with the uh, Houston Texans with their returning quarterback, Deshaun Watson. They traveled to New England to take on the Patriots. Who do you guys got and why? Um, on paper, the Texans have the better roster. I think mm -hmm. we would all agree with that, but the game's not played on paper, and Houston doesn't have Tom Brady or Bill Belichick at home, and that's why I'm going to take New England. Okay. Being a Patriots fan, it's going to be hard to pick against them, but I think i got to do it. Uh, they always struggle with mobile quarterbacks. Deshaun Watson had a great game last year, almost brought a victory home for Houston against uh, Brady and the Patriots, but... Whole another year for him to learn. He's coming back from his injury, but I think he'll be all right. And the addition of Tyron Matthew makes that defense really elite. So I think they're going to make some moves against New England this week. I am also taking the Texans for this game. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard this, but Le'Veon Bell hasn't been showing up to practice <laughs> in Pittsburgh. And uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers are headed into Cleveland to take on the Browns this week. Now, if this were a year or two ago, this would be a no-brainer. Why would we predict this? But it's a lot of controversy surrounding this. Uh, what do you guys think without Le'Veon Bell? How is he going to? How are the Steelers going to play? Do you think they have a realistic shot? Will it matter that he's gone? What do you guys think? Um, I'm actually going to take the Browns in this game. Mm -hmm. Last year, week one at home, the Steelers beat the Browns by a field goal with Le'Veon Bell. Now they're on the road without Le'Veon Bell. So I think, um, I think Cleveland's going to get the win this year. I'm still going to go with Pittsburgh despite the loss of Bell. I think James Conner is a very serviceable backup. He was a first-round pick before his successful battle with cancer, but he still can definitely make some plays out there. And then the Browns defense, it's good, but it's young. They still have Antonio Brown out there for the Steelers. I think Big Ben can pick them apart and get a win for the Steelers. I'm going to lean with you, Perry. I think Pittsburgh does take this, but it's very bold to you say the Browns because Browns haven't had the best track record in recent memory. <laughs> second, yeah. second win in three years. Wow. <laughs> Last quarterback to win on Sunday for the Browns was Johnny Manziel. Oof. Oof. Oh, yep. right. Yeah, he plays in Canada now. Yeah, <laughs> sort of. Yeah. Barely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the Dallas Cowboys are headed to Charlotte, North Carolina to take on the Carolina Panthers. Who do you guys like in this one? Uh, as a Cowboys fan, it's tough for me to say this, <laughs> but uh, I think the Panthers are going to get a win. They finished last year winning five in a row at home, and I think the Cowboys, without Travis Frederick, with his battle with uh, the disease, I think the Panthers are going to get the win. I'm going to go with the Panthers as well. I like uh, the offense with Christian McCaffrey in his second year. He uh, shown a lot towards the end of the year. Great receiving back, and I think it gives Cam Newton an awesome weapon along with Funchess and Greg Olson, so I think the Panthers pulled that one out. Yeah, I'm really excited to see Christian McCaffrey play this week because he learned a lot under uh, Jonathan Stewart last year, but now Jonathan Stewart's in New York. It, this is his position now. Mm -hmm. um, ironically enough, I think McCaffrey is our best receiver and <laughs> yeah. best running back on the team. Yeah. Um, they're going to use McCaffrey to as much as their advantage as they can. Um, I do think the Panthers will pull this out, and the Charlotte crowd will be excited for it and they're going to put their logo on the field for the first time, and that's <laughs> and exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, uh, Sunday night, the Chicago Bears are traveling to Green Bay to take on the Packers, one of the most intense rivalries in all the NFL. Mm -hmm. Who do you guys like in that one? Uh, well, with Chicago trading for Cleo Mack, are already having a great defense, just adding yeah. the best pass rusher in the league onto that. They're mm -hmm. going to be really good defensively, but um, I'm not going to pick against Aaron Rodgers at home against Mitchell Trubisky. So Yeah. I think I am going to go Bears in this one. The addition Bears. of Cleo Mack moves top 10 defense, maybe top 5. And like I said earlier with Anthony Miller and all the other acquisitions they've made, I think the Bears offense takes a step this year. Trubisky takes a step, and they're going to compete in the NFC North. And finally, on Monday night, the Los Angeles Rams are headed to Oakland to play the Raiders. Who do you guys like in that? Um, I like the Rams big in this game. I yeah. think they're going to blow yeah. the Raiders out. Um, the Raiders just traded their best player. Their coach hasn't coached in 10 years. They weren't that good last year. I don't think they're going to be very good this year. And the Rams are just stacked at every position. Yeah. Aaron Donald and Dominican Sue, like you said, Jared yep. Goff, one of the best young coaches in the game, and Sean McVay. Yeah, I think they're going to blow the Raiders out. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I think the Rams, my NFC pick, they just have too much talent for the Raiders to compete with, especially with a new coach like Gruden who hasn't been on the field, like you said, 10 years. It's going to be tough for him to get used to it again, and the Rams is not a good place to start, I don't think. Well, I appreciate you guys coming on with me today. That's all we have time for. Thank you for tuning in and watching. We'll be back next week on Boy Locker Room. Have a great day.